Rebels told us the town of Barak was safe, but it wasn't. We're in this town that uh, is partially under the control of the rebels, but there are other parts of it that still remain loyal to Muammar Gaddafi. Obviously, it's a situation very fluid at the moment. Opposition fighters entered Barak Thursday morning, part of an offensive to gain control of the last loyalist strongholds in the south around the city of Sabha. Before the gun battle took place, it seemed peaceful enough. Iraq resident Masoud Hasnawi, a self-confessed revolutionary, pointed out to me all the parts of town that still supported Gaddafi. It seemed like most of it. But those here opposed to Gaddafi hate him with a passion. Sabha native El Amin Ishtawi burned the first books by the deposed leader he could get his hands on, then shot up his likeness and stomped him. He returned just a few weeks ago from studying banking and finance in the UK to join the revolution. He's looking forward to going back to Subhan. It's my hometown. For three years I don't been to Subhan. This is my first time we need to go to Subhan. I'm, 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 I'm homesick for Sabah. Outside the Barak Air Base, the second largest in southern Libya, an inferno of exploding munitions. Opposition fighters captured the base Wednesday night, but incoming rockets ignited thousands of artillery rounds buried underground. Inside the base, Dozens of boxes with Soviet-era SA-14 surface-to-air missiles stored in the base's prison. Casualties among the opposition fighters have been relatively light. Resistance half-hearted, commanders say. They are just running. When they see us, they just run like rats. They've taken several prisoners. Abu Azum Sakar has been handcuffed to an unloaded machine gun in the back of a pickup truck. He told me most of the people in the area are still with Gaddafi. As for him, he said he's with whoever brings back electricity and water. Reinforcements are pouring into Barak from around Libya pickup after pickup of fighters amassing for perhaps the final showdown. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Barak, Southern Libya.